Hey guys, Kills of Frills here, and we're back with some more Fallout 4. So if you're like me and you like to build, and you're very particular about your building, and you don't like to have gaps anywhere, and you like to have it all lined up, and you don't want it to have holes all over the place, and it looks horrendous, well, I've found out a way to, uh, to actually lap or overlap buildings. Normally when you build stuff like that, you'll get one of these in here, and you'll try and place it. You can't because there's a stupid tire on the side, right? And then you try and place another piece and you want to line it up. But you can't because there's another bit of wood that's hanging out. So you've got to place it. And then you want to take it around the corner. Also, you can't because the other parts and the other bits of the building overlap. And then it gets to a stage where it really, really annoys you. And it winds you up. You just want to nuke the entire friggin' building. Well, I've figured out a way to stop this. Because... I went through the same process yesterday. So now I have found out this. On your keyboard, if you enter console command, which is like so. Now what you do is you type T C L and you press enter. This turns off collision. Basically what this does is it makes you fly, right? And you can collide, you could go through things. And it doesn't matter. You can fly around. You can go through things. There's no collision or anything like that, right? Which is great. So, yeah. So, how is this going to help you, you think you're saying? Well, I'll show you. When you're building and you're in building mode, you can still select these building components, right? Now, if I click to select this building, I can move it around. I can do whatever I want with it. But if I drop it, the building ceases to exist. It's still there, but I can no longer interact with that building piece, okay? So now what I can do is I can select this part. I can now move it into this building. See? I can clip it in. It clips. So if I want to make it nice and snug and get rid of that hole, I can. If I want to move that, rotate it a little bit, I can. And I can do it there as well. Boom. Boom. There you go. Nice, straight. Well, I mean, it's not straight. Let's face it, it's a bit crooked. But you can now build defensive walls basically anywhere. And to top it off, if you want to get yourself a, uh, say, like one of these little defensive towers, one of these, if you want to get one of these involved into the build, you can now do that. So you could just line it up where you want it, place it. And now you want to get that looking nice and snug into the wall. Again, go back to your little fencing or your defensive walls. And because I've just placed that, that is now counting as not actually being there. So I should be able to squeeze in something quite close to that. There we go. And that is how it is done. Quick, simple, easy. That uh, was winding me up. Something rotten when I was trying to build my base. And now that is how you get it done with the defensive walls. It doesn't just work with defensive walls. It works with anything. And that is that. Now, if you accidentally screw it up and say you built, you built something where you don't want it, like there, like, oh, no. I've got a double gate and I can't access that gate. I can't open it. I can't pick it up. I can't move it. I can't delete it. Well, that's absolutely fine. Just turn off TCL. Now, be careful because you will fall. And then go back into TCL. And it will allow you to pick up the building materials again. That's all you need to do. Don't do it from a height because you will fall and you will die. I'm, I am speaking from experience here. But that is how you do that. It is quick, simple, easy. Unfortunately, it doesn't allow you to snap things into buildings. That doesn't work, which is a, is a bit of a nightmare. But if you're trying to build your base and you want to say, I don't know, build uh, some sort of fence or some sort of wall that goes over the top of this. There we go. We'll just place that there. Doesn't have to be perfect. I can't help it. I'm just lining it up. Now we want to get floors. Now I can't place a floor there because that building part is there. But if I pick it up and remove them, get the floor back out, it will let me snap that on to the stairs. There we go, like so. Now because that part of the wall doesn't exist, I should be able to just place these throughout the building and match it all up completely. 
It's all a matter of flicking between the TCL and back to normal. If you don't want these parts, just click them like that. And then you can place it wherever you like. And it will just overlap. Quite simple. If you've got doorways that you want to connect up and you're, it, it just won't work because it's two different buildings. Well, the same thing works with that as well. I'll show you. Here we go. So we can build and place items like that. The only problem is if you're trying to build ceilings and roofs and stuff like that and foundations, it's best to do it outside of TCL mode because uh, it won't snap. It doesn't see it as active. But if you're trying to do that and you're kind of, uh, you want it, you're building an awkward shape, right? You can do that. Get the walls on it. There we go. Just like that. And then we want to get a, say, a door, but we want it really close to the foundation that's already there. Well, we can switch it to uh, TCL mode. Pick it up and just delete. Not delete, but pick up and cancel. Pick up, select it so you can move it and cancel it. Just like that. We can now lay down another foundation. We, as long as we line it up and get it where we want it, this is for those real awkward places. If you've got a little gap that you can't cover up, just do that. Come back out of TCL mode. Go back into TCL. Pick up the parts where you're going to be placing the wall. Just like so. And now you should be able to snap a wall directly onto this foundation. Like so. Oh. Leveled up. I'll take that. Like so. Just like that. So I've overlapped the walls there. So there's two walls. So I've got one there, one there. The foundations are overlapped too. And this is how you cover over really small gaps. It'll make it a lot easier when you're trying to rebuild buildings and trying to get like those little areas done. The only problem is, is you can't, it won't unfortunately snap it in to uh, the side of a building because you cannot remove the building. I have tried. Maybe there's some mods for that, but um, I, I haven't figured it out yet. I have been messing around with it. It has been driving me nuts trying to build a wall. And it's not let me do it because I can't li line it up properly. But yeah, that is how you do it. Enter the console command. There could be two keys on your computer for it. My one, for some reason, is over where the at key is. It brings it up. Type TCL. It will switch it on and off. It's also a really good way of getting screenshots. But that is how you do it. That is how you build nice, flush walls and buildings without having to worry about the massive gaps because it's colliding with itself and it won't let you place it all. So there it is. So thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Want to see some more, subscribe. Also, I've got a Discord links in the description. Feel free to head over and say hi. And I just want to say a massive thank you to my YouTube members, my patrons, and my subscribers. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for coming. Bye.